Hello everyone, my name is Emily Golia. I'm an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I'm so excited to introduce you to singer-songwriter jo Georgia Owen. How's it going, Georgia? Hello, how are you? I'm so good. I'm so happy that you're here with me. Before we get started, I'm going to show everyone a quick video of you doing your thing. Perfect. I drive my car up and down the street I haven't showered in half a week I check my phone about a hundred times Even though there's nothing new to see no. I eat dinner all by myself Talk to myself more than I talk to anyone else I take trips to my backyard Never thought of nothing to do with be things hard But, ooh, that's not like me, no. Ooh, that's not like me, babe. Never thought my days could be so free Cause I always thought nothing to do was easy No, 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 no all right, so that was nothing to do, which is beautiful. You look beautiful. You sound beautiful. The song is beautiful. I love it. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the song and also uh, what where we were seeing you play it? Yes. So I am an artist that I actually was raised in New Jersey, and I did a lot of. I started my career in Asbury Park, New Jersey, um, and then I moved to Nashville. Um, so that is me playing in Nashville at the listening room with the Song Suffragettes, which mm -hmm. is an all girls round that they do um, just to kind of represent women in the music industry. Um, so that and that's basically like my favorite venue to play in Nashville. It is the listening room is so cool. Um, and then so that's where that video is from. That's one of my songs that I wrote over the summer. Um, I was actually, so I have this, I kind of live in a small town. Um, so my mom has this hairdresser that's also one of her friends and has a son in my grade that we always used to play in high school. We would play all the time together. Um, so he was just hanging out and I was like, hey, like, let's just kind of like play and sing and do whatever. Um, so we were sitting in the garage waiting for my mom to get her hair cut um and i had just gotten mine done and i was just like what are we gonna what are we doing like what is what are we, what should we do should we sing should we so i started writing about having basically nothing to do uh -huh. um, and it just kind of i mean as a songwriter um i kind of find like i, I just try to write about things that are going on in my life. And at that point it was still COVID. And so I kind of wrote about how, how the hook is like nothing to do. I thought nothing to do was easy um, until you actually have nothing to do and you're like bored out of your mind and you're stir crazy. And so that's kind of what the song, yeah, that's kind of what the song turned into um, was just like, we're sitting in a garage, we have nothing to do. COVID's still a thing. And so I kind of just talked about like what I was doing in the moment and then kind of related it to just the past year of thinking like, oh, like I'm always so busy and I wish I just had free time. But then like once you have too much of it, you go crazy. So, yeah. Oh, God, I love that. That's why <laughs> yeah. I like connected to it so much because you, yes. <laughs> you never have enough time. And then all, suddenly like when there yeah. is so much time, I like, yeah, I'm, I work really well with a schedule when I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I have an hour. I can get a ton yeah. run in the hour, but if you tell me I have all day, nothing. Yes, else. I feel the same way, honestly. If I have a, t if I, that's why I like doing things last minute. Like I need a deadline for something, you know, <laughs> the deadline to make the homework and stuff. Like I'm, I'm such a last minute girl. But. I know what. There's got to be some disorder with us. There's got to be a deadline. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, so, how was the pandemic for you? I mean, did you, did you find that it helped you create more, or did you? Hmm. or are you someone that like I've talked to a lot of artists who get their creativity from living in the world so when we're just yeah. all day you know but then a lot of people were like oh I, I had the time I was able to like were you yeah 
Um, so honestly, the pandemic kind of slowed things down for me. So I was a freshman when the pandemic hit. I was actually going to school in Nashville wow. at Belmont. And it honestly like made me take a step back and like relook at everything. And it actually like I transferred schools after that, um, just to community college, um, just to give me more time to write and just to, you know, kind of save some money. And I've kind of been like trans all the money that I was spending on school. I've kind of been spending that on music, which is really nice. Also, Genius. that was a little change for me. Um, but I got to go home. I got to spend a lot of time with my family. Um, and I actually did. I, I wrote so many songs um, and I learned how to produce stuff. So I think COVID, as bad as it was, um, it kind of made me like step back and like reevaluate everything and just write all the time. And I, I definitely did write a lot of songs about like, co like COVID um and everything i was missing out on and just stuff that i was going through and just like being home again mm. thinking leaving and then coming back and not not thinking you're ever going to be back home you know it just it was just a weird experience because yeah you know i was a freshman and <laughs> yeah. i moved to nashville and then i have to go home again but yeah oh, God, was, the timing is insane yeah i know well do you have anything well wait hold on let me first I want to ask you if you have any like advice for anyone who's just starting out with songwriting I mean I feel like you've been doing this for a while you seem like mm -hmm. how long have you been songwriting okay so the first song I ever okay so my story starts in the <laughs> church choir yeah, when I was yeah. little um that's when I started singing I was awful I've actually been posting um a lot of TikToks that people seem to like um, just of, it's kind of me making fun of myself because that's all I do on TikTok. Like I just kind of like make fun of, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, in a, in a, in a musical way, because yeah. I don't want to take myself too seriously on there. Um, but I just kind of made fun of like my journey, mm -hmm. um, how I was started singing and I, it, it was terrible. I was awful. I actually, all over my social media, I have like videos of me singing when I was little and I was just like yeah like anyone could sing like this was me when I was little and if I can do it like anyone can do it because this was not just something that like came natural to me like I had to learn this um but yeah I guess that's that's a little bit of advice that I would give someone um is like it's never too late honestly because I've always told myself like oh I'm so behind I I haven't written enough songs I'm I'm like 20 years old and I've only written this many songs and like, how am I ever going to write a hit? And, and, and it's really easy just to compare yourself to what other people are doing. Um, but I mean, just set goals for yourself and, you know, be proud of yourself when you accomplish those things, even if they're small, because every little small goal ends up to be something really big. Um, yeah. So, I think that just kind of growing up and and singing all the time I I um ended up in Asbury and that's where they told me that I need to start writing songs or else I'm probably you know not going to have a career as like an artist I'd just be like a cover band right which was not something I wanted to do so that was 2016 I was in 8th grade when I started writing songs um but when I started releasing them and like really doing co-writes and getting serious about things was probably 2016 um, so I've been writing songs for about four to five years um, and like like seriously not just like <laughs> things in, that I'm writing in my journal yeah. Um, but yeah I actually got to write with this one songwriter named Brian Fallon and he gave me two things of advice because he's kind of been through it with the music industry um and i've always remembered this because i just thought it was funny and i just it actually is good advice um he told me don't be a jerk and don't smoke so i guess like don't give up on don't give up on things it's really hard to not to compare yourself but don't be a jerk don't smoke and don't give up <laughs> there's oh my, my little pieces of advice. advice 
<laughs> yes. about that. Oh, I very much agree on the smoking part. <laughs> yeah, especially with the jewel now. Like, like people don't realize. Like, I don't know. It's just so. It's so different. It's so. It's so 2020. The jewel, you know. <laughs> so. Oh my god, that's because it doesn't seem like smoking, but. It is. No, it, 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 definitely, it definitely ruins anything, your voice. Putting anything next to your vocal cords is yes. not like water is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, like water and tea. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, um, um, oh my God. What do you have any like do you have an EP that you're working on or anything that we can like look forward to? Like what's yes, the I do. Okay, fantastic. Tell us all about um, it. So I don't have a release date, but I haven't released anything in a year. And that's been very, um, that's been on purpose um, just because I felt like I was releasing stuff just to release it. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't something that I was, I mean, all the songs on Spotify, like I love, but just kind of wanted to take a step back and just have more of a plan with what I was releasing next. Um, so the past year I have been writing a ton and I have kind of like a SoundCloud link of songs that I've, you know, that I really like and that I would definitely want to release um, eventually. So once I feel like I have enough bangers in there, um, <laughs> I will get into the studio. I'm actually planning on going into the studio um, within the next probably in I would say May so I would say my music will be coming out late summer like early fall Love it. um and it's definitely going to be very different from anything that people have heard but I think that this sound that I've found has been something that I've been that I've been trying to find since high school since I honestly since I started writing songs and I just remember sitting in the studio being like it's not exactly how I want it to be. It's not exactly how I want it to be. And that's just what always stopped me from releasing. And I think I finally found like where, where my sound wants to be. So I'm yeah, excited. I to hear that. Oh, <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to put all of your links underneath this video so that mm -hmm. anyone watching will be able to follow you, keep up to date with everything that you're doing. I can't wait to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited to have you on the Phoenix platform. It's just going to oh, be- Thank you so much. Yes, yes, it's just going to be a great way for more people to find you and have this yeah. perfect one-stop shop for everything Georgia. I know. I've definitely, I've been looking, I've, I've been using the app. Um, I'd love to hear that. The website. There's like a, there's a website and then it kind of transfers into the app. But um, yeah, it's, it's so easy just to find all my links to put everything up there. Yes. Um, you guys set up a lot for me, which was really nice. But yeah, it's cool. I'm excited. Yeah, I think it's just a wonderful way to support independent artists. So everyone out there, download George's app. And um, yeah, I am so excited to see what's next for you. So thanks so much for meeting thank with you me so today. Much. I really and appreciate it. We will talk soon. Have a great rest <laughs> of your night. Thank you.